Welcome to Single Case Research, web-based calculators for SCR analysis. In this video tutorial, we will cover how to calculate tau u effect sizes using the free online calculator. If you would like to replicate the calculations as you watch the video, please download the Excel file titled tau u sample data. This file contains four data sets. The video will model calculations for the first two data sets. If you would like to check your work on the last two data sets, you may download the Excel file titled Tau U Sample Data with Results to compare your findings. In this example, we will calculate individual phase contrast for three participants in a multiple baseline design and aggregate the results into a single omnibus effect size for the study. In order to set up to calculate tau u as an effect size, the first thing you want to do is open your Excel document that has your extracted data. And you also want to open your web browser and go to the tau u calculator. To get set up, it's easiest if you work side by side. So set your Excel and web browser windows so that you can see both of them. And the first thing that we're going to do is label our columns for each phase from the study. If we look at our Excel document, each of the tabs represents a different study, and in the tab you can see that we've got data here for participant 1, participant 2, and participant 3, and for each participant we've got a baseline and intervention phase. So we're looking at a multiple baseline across participants design. In the calculator, what I want to do is label each of my columns so that I know whose data I'm dealing with and what phase it comes from. So I'll start by labeling participant 1, baseline, and participant one, intervention. Participant two, baseline, and intervention. And the same thing for participant three. Once I have my columns labeled, I can enter the data for each of the phases and each of the participants. You can do the data entry by hand, typing in each of the numbers, or you can copy and paste from Excel. So if I come into Excel, I'm going to highlight all of the data for baseline for participant one, copy, and paste that into the tau u calculator. Come back, copy my intervention data, and paste. Repeat for participant two. and for participant three. Now I've got everything set up and I'm ready to move on to calculating phase contrasts. In order to check phase contrasts, the first thing we need to do is check for baseline trend. To do that, you click on the checkbox beside participant one's baseline data, and then click the contrast button. The calculator will run the calculations and give you the output here under trend. We see participant one baseline versus participant one baseline and the tau u score. We continue to do that for participant two and also for participant three. Then we need to check the tau scores and see if any of these require us to correct for baseline trend. Looking at these three scores, we don't need to correct, so we can go on and calculate our phase contrasts. The way that we calculate phase contrast, we select both phases for participant one and then click contrast. Here, the calculator gives us the output as a phase contrast, participant one's baseline versus participant one's intervention with all of our scores. We repeat for participant two and for participant three. And we can see in our results, we've now got all of our trend checks and all of our phase contrasts. So now we're ready to combine the contrasts into a weighted average. In our next step, we're going to combine the contrasts so that you get an aggregated effect size. The way that you do that is to look at the information that you've got in your results, and you want to select the contrast that you want to combine. So we want our phase contrasts here. And once I've clicked those three boxes, I can click on the two weighted button. The calculator does its work, and here at the bottom, you see we've got our output and all of our statistics for the weighted average. 
the last thing we need to do is download our results so that we can save them in an Excel spreadsheet along with our raw data. First step is to go to the Tau U calculator and click on the Download All button. Once I click on that button, the calculator shows me a link in a pop-up window and I want to save the results. So I right click on the link and I select Save Link As. What I want to do is save this file using the same name that I have on the raw data in the Excel spreadsheet. So I come back over to my Excel spreadsheet, double click on the tab so that it highlights the title of the tab, control copy, click out of it again, come back to my save file pop-up box, paste the title and save it. Once it's saved, you can either open it using Excel and go through the open menu. You can open it from the desktop or wherever you've saved it. Or in my case, I'm going to open it directly from the downloads window. So I double click on it. Now I've got a new workbook with this spreadsheet in it. What I want to do now is move that worksheet into the workbook that has all of my raw data so that everything is in one place and easy to get to. The way that you do that is again to click on the tab, then right click on it, select move or copy. You want to move it to the book that has all of your raw data for us right now. That's the Tau U sample data. And I want to move it so that it is before the worksheet that's after the one that contains all of my raw data. That way everything's going to line up. So this is the Schmitz and Samples 2002 calculations and I want to put it after the raw data. So I click on the tab after it and then I hit OK. So what I can see now if I look at my tabs is that I've got one tab that has my raw data and then the second tab that has the same title and then parentheses two has the Tau U statistics that we just calculated. Now some things to notice about this data. If I look at this data, I can see that it doesn't have any of the column labels that I had in my Tau U calculator. And I also see that over here, instead of having statistics, I've got the word true in some of my fields. So I want to fix that. And I also notice that the weighted average does not download from the Tau U calculator into my Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to take the time to fix all of those things. The first thing we're going to do is add our column labels. So the way that we do that is to come over to the Tau U calculator and use our cursor to highlight the column labels that we have here. And then Control C to copy. Then I come back to my Excel spreadsheet and I want to come up here above all of my data and insert a row and click in that first cell. And then I want to paste my column titles. And the best way to do that is to select paste and then select paste special and paste them in as text. So now I have all of my column labels and it's lined up with all of my data. The next thing I want to do is take care of these true values. If I click on the cell, you can see that the confidence interval is here, but it's got an equal sign in front of it. And that's what's causing it to give me the output true instead of the output of the confidence interval. The way we're going to fix that is to use our replace function in Excel. And when that menu comes up in the find what box, you type in an equal sign and you leave the replace with box blank. And then you click on replace all. Excel tells me that it's completed the search and made six replacements and I can see that I now have all of my confidence interval data. So I click OK and I close my find and replace box. The last thing I want to do is make sure that I add my weighted average to this spreadsheet. So I'm going to come back to the calculator and I'm going to highlight all of my column labels and all of the statistical information. And again, control C to copy. I come back to my spreadsheet. I'm going to add a row here that's weighted average. And then I'm going to paste again. And remember that we're going to paste special as text. And that gives me all of my information, the column labels and the statistical data. 
sometimes it's easiest to read this later if you clean it up a little bit by selecting all of your cells and adjusting the column width. And then I adjust the A column just so I can see all of the data in any given column. In this example, we will calculate individual phase contrast for a single participant in a reversal design and aggregate the results into a single omnibus effect size for the study. For this example, just like in our first example, we've got the Excel spreadsheet with our extracted data and the Tau U calculator open side by side. You'll notice that our data looks a little bit different this time. We've got a single participant and we've got an ABAB reversal design. First thing that we want to do is set up the columns in our Tau U calculator, and I'll label those baseline one, intervention one, baseline two, and intervention two. Once the columns are labeled, then I can either hand enter the data from my Excel spreadsheet or I can copy and paste it. So I'll come over and get the baseline data paste that in, first intervention phase, and then repeat that for the second baseline and intervention phases. So now we are all set up and ready to begin running our phase contrasts. In calculating our phase contrast, the first thing that we want to do is check for baseline trend. So here we'll click on baseline one and run the contrast, and then we'll click on baseline two and run the contrast. When I look at the output that the calculator has given me, I can see in baseline one, I've got a tau score of 0 0.09. So when I run baseline one versus intervention one as a contrast, I'll need to correct for baseline. I will not need to do that when I look at baseline 2 and intervention 2. So coming back to the top, click on baseline 1, intervention 1. In order to correct for baseline, click the box that says correct baseline and then hit contrast. You'll notice in the output down here that it runs the trend check for baseline 1 again and then gives you the output for baseline 1 versus intervention 1 under corrected baseline. To run the phase contrast for baseline and intervention two, I want to make sure that I click the correct baseline box so that it's not checked. Click baseline two, intervention two, and contrast. When I come back down again, I can see that I've got my baseline two versus intervention two in the phase area. So now I've got all of my output and I'm ready to combine the contrasts into a single aggregated omnibus effect size. To combine our phases into a single weighted average, we want to make sure we select both phases. Here we've got baseline 2 and intervention 2, and here baseline 1 and intervention 1. And then we click two weighted. The calculator does its work and presents the output here. Now that we've got all of our information, we can download to our Excel spreadsheet. To download our results, I'll start by clicking on Download All, and then right-click on the link and select Save Link As. In order to make sure it matches with our Excel spreadsheet, I'm going to double-click on the tab, copy, click out of the tab, come back to my dialog box for saving, and paste in the title. Once I've saved that information, I'm going to open it from my Downloads window. And here I want to make sure that I move this worksheet into the workbook with the rest of my data. And I want to put it behind the raw data. So now I've got my raw data in the first tab and in the second tab with the same title I've got the Tau U output. I want to go ahead and insert a row here so that I can add my column titles. 
come back to the calculator, select those titles, copy them, come over to Excel, and paste them in. Now I also want to add the weighted average. Come back to the Taoyu calculator, select my column titles as well as all of my data. Copy, come back to Excel and paste that as text. I also want to make sure I check and see if I've got here true instead of the values for the confidence intervals. So I want to make sure those equal signs get removed. So I'm going to do find and replace and find the equal sign, replace it with nothing, replace all of them. Double check my data and I can see that all of my confidence intervals are visible. And now just to make sure I can see all of my data or just the width of the rows. And you're all set.